Rooster crowing, do si do. Pig feet, garden weeding. Tractor steering. Field clearing. Turning, churning, clapping, snapping, spinning, grinning. Hey, let's go! y'all goodness this here jerky I made is really tough to bite into see what I mean I can't get it to budge I followed all the directions just right I thought oh except the part where it said I ought to cook it real low temperature for eight hours yeah I wanted it sooner than that so I just pulled it out at about three hours the smell was too good mmm mmm Nope. Anyways, I'm Farmer Earl. And if you're just joining us for the first time, you ought to know there's some learning to be done here on the farm. Today, you're all going to learn about how to have self-control. My niece, Tanya May, who grew up here on the farm, and my buddy's daughter, Sydney, who's from the city, they're both working for me this fall. The girls have some learning to do about life on the farm and how to live with the fruit of the spirit in them. But that's all right. If there's one thing I love more than farming, it's helping to teach youngsters all about hard work and how to have self-control. My nephews, up and at them, they're going to help me teach as well. But before we get to the teaching, y'all get your hearts right by singing a song to our great God. We are young, we are young, we will lead the way. Show the world, show the world, we are here to stay. We are young, we are young, we will lead the way. Show the world, show the world, we are here to stay. Set an example. And I'm answering questions right We confess we are blessed by the hands of Christ Trying to be a lighthouse, not a candlelight huh. So we new kids springing up Show the world with this news that we bringing up Dudes are confused cause we usually sing it But it's all about God Set an example trust. By what you say By what you say and do Set an example By what you say By what you say and do enough money for my new phone and I've been working my tail off all fall. 
I even gave up my manicure for this. Seriously? If you're worried about earning enough money for a new phone, some of us have way bigger problems than that. Oh, really? Like what? Like I can't get any of my blog right. The words are all wrong. I can't find a font I like. My pictures won't upload. And on top of all that, I have, it, have to have it done by noon today. Ugh. You think the whole world revolves around you and your silly county fair presentation. Well, newsflash, you can't earn money in the real world by just growing flowers. Well, some of us don't want to spend our whole fall earning money for a silly new phone. You could, I don't know, earn money for helping others or spend it on something you actually need. <sighs> well, Up and Adam need us anyway, so let's go talk to them. I'm just going to quit the county fair. It's too hard. I should just give up. <laughs> Rise and shine, everybody. Hey there. It's, it's up in Adam, Adam on the farm. I'm up. And I'm Adam. Whew. It sure is hot on the farm today. Whew, you got that right. Hey, up. Will you pour me some more lemonade? Only if you say the magic word. Uh, please? Nope. Think fruit. Hmm. Watermelon? Not quite. Try again. Come on, just, will you just tell me the magic word? I'll tell you, but if I do, you gotta pour your own lemonade. I can handle that. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. The magic word is fruit of the spirit. Ah, you guys enjoy this song while we enjoy this lemonade. The fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. You want to be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. If you want to be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, space, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. If you want to be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, space, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, space, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Hmm, so good. The fruit of the spirit we're gonna talk about today is self-control. Self-control is thinking before I act. You didn't even pause and let me say it with you. And self-control is thinking, thinking before, before I act. Now that may sound a little bit confusing, but think of it this way. Up really loves cookies, and Granny gave him a whole box. Sure, eating all those cookies would be delicious, but Up knows that if he eats them, he won't have any room for dinner. So he eats one, and saves the rest for later. Now that was just one example, but we can learn a lot more about self-control from Jesus. In the Bible, in Luke chapter 4, the devil tried to tempt Jesus. That means he tried to get Jesus to do something that he wasn't supposed to do. First, the devil tried to get Jesus to turn some stones into bread. You see, Jesus had been out in the wilderness for 40 days without anything to eat, and he was probably hungry. Sure, he could have turned those stones into bread, but he knew that was not the right thing to do. Yep, he thought before he acted. Then the devil tried to get Jesus to bow down and worship him. But Jesus did not worship him because he knew that the Bible says there is only one God. Once again, he thought before he acted. And we can be like Jesus and have self-control too. Yep, we can think before we act to make sure that we're doing exactly what God wants us to do. So remember, self-control is a fruit of the Spirit. And self-control is Thinking, thinking before, before I act. Hey, Tanya May. Look, I was really mad earlier, and I was just looking at all the money I had made for this fall for the new phone, started adding it up, and realized it just wasn't going to cut it. 
But look, I'm sorry. I really didn't mean what I said earlier about the county fair. I mean, I know you've been working so hard on it, and you've just put so much work into it, and it shows how hard of a worker you are. Yeah, I'd say we were both pretty upset about our situations earlier, and said some pretty hurtful things. I bet if we just stopped and paid attention and thought about it from the other person's perspective, we wouldn't have said all that we did. I mean, you've worked really hard all summer for your new phone, and it's cool that you're doing something out of your comfort zone. Guess we didn't show much self-control today, did we? Nope, not at all. I'm real sorry about what I said. Forgive me? You bet. And hey, I don't have a lot of jobs to do today, so maybe I could help you finish up your log. Oh, that would be great. And I'm sure you can do the math to find out if Uncle Earl can give you any more jobs so you can earn money quicker. Sounds like a plan. Now, where are you? Hey again. Y'all, I think I did some learning today too. I know, I know. I bet you're all wondering what a wise old farmer like me needs to learn. But you know what? Truth is, you're never done learning. Keeps you on your toes, that's for sure. Well, it turns out I should have remembered what self-control means when I made my jerky and followed those directions correctly. Bet I'd be able to eat my jerky if I had thought before trying to cut corners. Well, guess I didn't show much self-control. Brings me to our verse we we're learning while we we're on the farm. You know what that means. Go on, go get your Bibles now and find Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Go on. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Folks, I know the Holy Spirit lives inside me and has for some time now. Every now and then I get it right and the fruit of the Spirit comes out and how I talk and how I act. But sometimes I let my impatience and sinful side creep out. Those are the times I reminded of the great gift of Jesus and what he has done for you and me. Jesus knew even the best of us would sin, so he sacrificed himself on the cross so that our sins could be forgiven. Ooh, doggy, am I thankful for that gift he's given us. Now, I don't necessarily think what I did with the beef jerky was a sin, but Up and Adam reminded me today that if I had thought about my actions a bit more, perhaps my jerky would have turned out okay. And hey, that's what we need to know from today. Check it out. That's right. When we think before we act, we're showing self-control. Well, that's all from us here on the farm. Thanks for letting me learn to ride along with you today. Bye for now. <laughs>